welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Throws over the middle. It's intercepted. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender. And he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. from the 24-yard line. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. Down at the 17. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The 10. Touchdown, Alabama. Designed play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he adds the extra point. A short three play, 24 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. 
and he shoved out of bounds around the 16-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. First and 10, ball on the 16-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a deep four on the ball. That brings him second and five. stop at the three. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. They'll bring him down at the eight-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down at the seven. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Florida is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Alabama holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Yeah, Brad, we kind of get a chess match right now going on between the offense and defense coordinators out there. And the defense tried to bring pressure to try to surprise the quarterback, but the offense, give them credit. They anticipated that and came up with that big first down. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. That's a deep three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 37. Quickly to the tight end. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 29. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. You'll get the call again. They go to the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 24-yard line, third down. And he tackles him hard at the 19. That makes it first and 10. 
after one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Alabama leads it 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Alabama is up four. He gets rid of this one. From the 19-yard line, second down. And they'll run him again. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He goes out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets it out quickly. He gets hit out of bounds at the 14. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 14-yard line, it's second down. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. They come out in a goal line set. Little handoff. Tackle at the 21. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 21-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. The ball pops free. They fall on it. And down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Alabama is up by four. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 22. Gets it. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 11 yard line. He's taken down at the three yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Down time. He makes the PAT. A four play, 23 yard drive, and they put up seven points. They 
line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive. But I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. And they get nice yardage on that run. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 42-yard line. Ready, ready, nice run, and he's brought down. Game of seven yards. First down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the ball, on the ball. Quick, quick, quick. Attack! Green and eight. Green! Attack! Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down right around the 40. That's a gain of 11. First down. From the 40 yard line. First down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Under heavy pressure. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop around the 12-yard line. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. They'll bring him down at the three. That brings up second and nine. It's the ninth play of the drive. Check four, check four. Here we go, here we go. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Got the corner. Touchdown, Florida. He hits the PAT. A nine play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 14 10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama holds a four-point lead. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 43. Alabama is going to use their first time out of the half here. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against it, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Middle got his back. 
and he's level at the 36 yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Tackle made at the 31. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Caught out in the open. Steps out of bounds at the 38. That makes it third and three. Here we go. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up four. Gets out to around the 32. complete he's got space to work and he's tackled around the 11 yard line so we played two quarters the crimson tied in front 14 10 hi everybody glad to have you with us on the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. But could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? <laughs> I mean, well, usually sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Alabama is up by four. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. He's at midfield. 
Tackle made around the 43-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. down 10 yards to go ball on the 32 yard line tackle after a decent run up the gut Alabama holds a four-point lead And he's met immediately. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Looking for his man, incomplete. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Complete. Tackle to 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. over the middle and down he goes at the 49 big opening makes it to the 37 from the 37 yard line first down Fires it out. He's taken down around the 22 yard line. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. Bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. We own him. We own him. Mike Chip, 33. 33. Ready. And he's taken down at about the 17 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Set, 
Now he's flushed and they got it. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here, to be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Alabama is up four. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 24. It's the tailback. He makes his way to about the 38. out to around the 38. So with one quarter remaining, Alabama leads it 17-13. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. It's second and 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. Alabama is up by four. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 31-yard line. It's fourth down. Try to go for it. Up the middle for a nice game. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the catch and look out. And he is drilled at the eight yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a DD ball. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. 
Ball on the four-yard line. Okay, we got to get the stop here, D. Red two. Kill, kill. Panther two. the stop at the three. Here we go. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Outside the goal line. Just about three yards there. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches into big games. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Florida's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. He's out of bounds at about the 31. They're about four yards away here on second down. Brought down at the 39. He's on the run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 40. Just a minute remains in this football game. He's tackled at the 16. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. his man and they take him down immediately and he stops the clock with a spike this is the ninth play of this drive Gets it out quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the six. They get three yards on the play. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Tight, tight, 
The Gators using their third and last timeout. Alabama is up seven. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 31. So this one goes final. A hard fought close game. 2013, Alabama. Let's get Kirk Herb Street's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Florida played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.